95% of golfers are not consistent putters. Not because of bad putting technique, but it is something that is so simple to fix, but it's something that people just ignore. But when you realize it, number one, two, understand it, and three, apply what you need to, to be consistent, you will be shocked at how much better you're going to be. Plus, I'm gonna show you a great drill that Tiger knows. I'm gonna do something right now, and I want you to see if you can spot the difference between these two. And the chances are there's gonna be a different outcome for both of these putts. I am gonna exaggerate it a bit, number one, Okay, number two. So those two putts, one miss right, one miss left. The only technical difference, I tried to do exactly the same putting stroke, the only difference was my orientation, how far away I was from the ball. The first one, I was too close. And what that often does is because we realize we're too close and it changes our perspective of what we see as well and we get a little bit stuck, it can often lead to opening up the club face. So it's going to open it up. And likewise, if I stand too far away, it's going to likely close that putter face as I swing around and which is gonna cause putts missing left. So we have to think of Goldilocks, right? We need it just right. But it isn't simply about being just right. It's being repeatable and just right. Having the same setup, exactly the same distance from the ball, where it is for your orientation, the posture that you have, and the ball position is so important, you cannot fathom how much difference it will make to your putting game. How do you get consistent? How do you know that you're having a consistent putting stroke that's gonna help you almost hold some putts? I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers and a really great drill that Tiger does to help not just the setup, but the consistent strike out of the middle. You need to start training your setup to be repeatable. And there are training aids, there's mirrors that a lot of the tour players use, these putting mirrors, but I'm trying to give you something that I know that you have at home. What I've got here is a sort of station, if you will. It's to help not only my ball position, but it's also helping my distance from the ball. Because each of these, if there's a variable, alters everything about what we do with the stroke, okay? We want pretty much the ball to be about a putter grip away from our toes. That's pretty much it. You might have heard uh, eyes over the ball. That's more or less correct but we want to try and find a nice comfortable position and we want our right arm just to be hanging loosely all right as that arm is hanging i want to be able to just take that putter if it's hanging and i'm sort of missing it and i have to extend it out or likewise if it's hanging and i have to bring it in that shows i don't have the right distance from the ball so i allow this to swing naturally the inside step of what I want to be is about a putter head okay we're just making this very basic and simple but from here I've got the weight in the balls of my feet and all I do from here is my regular putting stroke okay I'm just doing a regular putting stroke every single time and we have this practice station to practice so when we're out on the course we have a more repeatable technique a more repeatable action I'm not, help, I'm not going on about putting technique per se, but this is the foundation to being a consistent putter, for hitting it out of the middle of your putter to get a nice roll. And to stop you worrying about what your stroke is doing or over manipulating because you have the incorrect setup. Yes, there are other factors we need to look at, but start there. Start with your distance from the ball, the ball position, and your balance, and the right arm just hanging naturally. You get those things in place, I assure you, you'll be putting a lot better. But add this Tiger Woods drill, it's pure gold. It's crucial to hit the sweet spot of the putter. And being a few millimeters off, yes, with different putters, like uh, whether it's this one or other PXG or whatever putter you may have, they are some 
forgiving qualities. Of course there are. But we need to get better with our precision. And it's not a skill that takes years and years to get good at or complicated. And that's why I love it, because it does have a good effect. If you have problems with distance control, especially on longer putts, it's quite often because you're not striking the center of the putter to get a nice roll. It really does affect the distance, okay? So what I have here is a little drill that Tiger Woods uses most days. And what he does, he places a couple of tee pegs each side of his putter, and I'm aiming it towards the hole. And there's very little room on each side. Now Tiger gets it within a, you know, a millimeter, but I would suggest that you don't stress too much about that to begin with. Give yourself a little bit of leeway. You don't want to get too depressed to begin with. But the idea of this, this gate drill, at least one gate drill, because you can put others ahead to help your target. But what we're trying to accomplish here is make sure that as we strike through, we're not manipulating the putter too much. We're able to get that sweet spot all the time. And you can practice this and you can be make it a little bit easier to begin with or as hard as Tiger does. But you'll be amazed at how much it helps your distance control. To prove my point, I'm gonna hit two quick putts. Same length, same pace, same energy that I'm trying to deliver, but one I'm gonna hit out of the toe. Okay, comes up a little bit short. Second one, exactly the same, but out of the center of the putter and I get a much better, truer roll. That had a chance of going into the cup. The first one didn't. The only real difference was I struck it here to here. And that was very forgiving for a putter for where it turned out. So get better at hitting the sweet spot. Use the tiger drill and get more precise with your setup. And when you're on the course, try and deliver and be diligent in your setup for every single putt. And I promise you will be putting more consistently, hold better, and three putt less, I reckon. Let me know how you get on. Now, check out this lesson because it's giving you one really amazing but simple key that's gonna transcend your golf game, every part of it to the next level. See you next time.